Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to share a couple of slimline cuts. These are really colorful and happy and I'm going to share a few tips and tricks on how I like to work with products to cover up a bigger area that a slimline card provides compared to the standard A2 size card base. For my first card, I'm going to play with my favorite die from the new release by My Favorite Things. This is the Joyful Giraffe. This is absolutely adorable when you put it together and it's super easy to create. Now, when I saw this die, I knew I wanted to create a super long neck for my giraffe that would make her the perfect focal point for a slimline card. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to modify this neck and make it super long. Now, if you look at your stars, you will find ways to work with uh, smaller dies and stamps that are actually made to fit on an A2 standard size. You can modify them and customize them to make them work on a slimline card. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to cut out all the parts uh, using uh, colored cardstock. Of course, you can use white cardstock and color it with your uh, alcohol markers, for example. I decided to go with yellow for the main body of my giraffe and with that orange for the spots as well as the little details here and there. I'm also going to use the pink one for the inside of the ears as well as black for uh, the nose and the eyes. If you prepare everything like I did, by running the platform just once, you will have all the pieces that you will need if you are making the regular giraffe. However, I do need a longer neck, so let's work on that now. I'm going to work on a white panel that it is 3.5 by 8.5. I placed the head on top so that I can see about how long I need the neck to be. Now I'm going to do some uh, partial die cutting. I will use the die for the neck. But I'm going to make sure that one edge is outside of the cutting plates. This way it's not going to cut out one of the edges. The idea is to have the start of the neck and then I can easily extend it with a ruler and a craft knife. So I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and you can see how this is going to work. Of course you don't have to do that. The easiest way is to just use your paper trimmer and cut out a thick piece of uh, this cardstock and use it as a neck. However, I didn't want to have the exact same angle and I can be a little crazy with details like that. That's why I went this road, but you can make your life easy and just cut out a strip of paper. So this is where I am following the line of the start of the neck with my ruler and then with my craft knife, I just cut it out and here I ended up having a longer neck. Now, of course, I do need to add spots on the longer neck and uh, that's why I'm going to use these dies that I do cut out the spots for the rest of the parts. I'm going to run them one more time so that I can have enough for the longer neck. So now it's time to put my giraffe together. When you die cut the giraffe, you will find that it does impose in different areas. This is really helpful because it gives you an idea on where you are supposed to stick the rest of the pieces. It's just like putting a puzzle together, so you know exactly where you are supposed to stick the eyes or the different spots along the giraffe. You can also go visit the website of My Favorite Things and you will find their instructions on how you can put it together, however it's super easy. And of course I do need to add the spots along the long neck. At the top I do have indentation since I used a part of the die up there. However, for the rest of the neck I'm just going to improvise and stick down uh, different bits and pieces. And of course I am going to stick some of them sticking out of the neck so that I can use my scissors to cut them out at the end. Now my giraffe is ready, I'm going to work on the background. For that I decided to go with the stitched rolling clouds edges. These are designed to work on an A2 standard card size. However, you will see that I'm going to use them today on both my cards in both um, portrait and landscape orientation of slimline cards. Now since I'm working white on white, I want to help those clouds pop a little bit once I place one on top of the other. That's why I'm lightly inking. I'm using a very pale blue ink and that's tumbled glass. For the background, I want to have a little bit of a blue there so that uh, the cloud pops on top. However, I'm not going to extend that blue inking all the way to the top. I want it to fade out to white. By having clouds at the bottom of my background, it's going to give the illusion that uh, the neck and my giraffe is super, super long. 
Now I do love dimension so I'm going to stick all the layers using foam squares at the back, however if you want you can go completely flat and you will still get dimension since uh, here for example I'm using 80 pounds cardstock which is uh, going to give you some dimension when you stick one on top of the other. For the head of the giraffe I need to double up on foam squares so that everything is nicely leveled with the um, dimension of the clouds. So you see here on the neck I need two foam squares, one on top of the other. On the first cloud I need just one and at the bottom I'm going to go with glue. And this is going to be nice and leveled with the top cloud. For my sentiment I went with It's been too long from the giraffe greetings and I did die cut it with uh, those uh, banner dies that do have a lovely stitching all around. If you don't have such banners I would suggest to grab a set. They are really inexpensive and they are these type of supplies that you will be using again and again. I absolutely love them for die cutting my sentiments. And of course you will find them linked down below along with everything else that I'm using today. And of course you can call this card done or if you are like me and you cannot leave a card alone you can make it even cuter. So I'm using a fine pen marker here and I'm giving her eyelashes. Also I'm going to use my white gel pen and add a dot on the black eyes. This little detail on the black eyes always brings those critters into life. It really makes a difference. And finally to complete the girly look I'm going to tie a little bow. I think it is an adorable card to send, especially in these days where we don't see each other. It's been too long is the perfect sentiment and I think it's going to put a smile on the recipient. It's been months since we are in Karadin here in uh, my area and the numbers aren't dropping, so crafting is definitely my therapy and I hope that things are better in your part of the world. So here are some close-up photos on my giraffe long card. And let's make one more card which is also slimline card but this time I'm going to work on the landscape orientation and this time I'm going to use this die set which is called Critter Caravan. It gives you a lovely car with really big windows and you can fit any critter that you have inside. It can be for critters also for uh, people as well depending on what you want to add in the windows. Again I'm going for a super happy colorful card just to change our mood and uh, for the card I went with bright uh, red for uh, the wheels you can see I used black for the bigger circle and for the center I used silver cardstock just to add some shine. Now this die also gives you some indentations on where you are supposed to stick the other little pieces. But again, if you aren't sure about some bits and pieces, you can always go to the MFT website and you will find a guide there. However, again, this little car is super easy to put together. Now, I decided to add uh, acetate on the windows. This is going to give a really fun element with the shine on top of it. But this is not something that you have to do. If you don't have a glass, then you can have critters coming out, pumping out of the windows. So it depends on the look that you are going for. So here I cut out roughly a piece of acetate. I did add my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. I'm going to stick the acetate on top. Let it grab with the glue for a little bit. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out the excess. And I'm being very careful. I don't want to have any glue on top of the acetate so that my project is going to look nice and neat. And probably I should have used uh, double sided tape at the back of the vehicle to stick the acetate on top just to be on the safe side. But in any case it worked just fine. Now I'm going to stick the steering wheel and my little car is ready to go. Now let's work on the background. I have a 3.5 by 8.5 pale blue cardstock and then on top I'm going to stick the grass. The grass was cut out using one of the dies from the pop-up wiper card components. If you don't have a die that cuts out a long strip of grass, you can always use your scissors and cut out just a slope or even if you have a smaller grass die that fits an A2 standard card size, cut out a couple of them and make sure that you stick them one close to the other and you cover up the seam with a car or with a sentiment or something that makes sure that it doesn't show. Now here I did use the same die that I used for the first card with the clouds. I did cut out a couple of them. 
I'm going to stick them next to each other and tuck them underneath the grass and you will see that you won't be able to see the seam later on since I am going to stick the car right there. If you have uh, stamps of critters or people that fit on these windows, they are going to look absolutely adorable. I'm going to use critters from the new Sweet Safari stamp set by My Favorite Things, so you can see that in action. It's super adorable, it comes with five critters along with leaves, clouds and trees to create a lovely scene and lots and lots of sentiments. So I did uh, stamp them, color them with my alcohol markers and use the matching dies to cut them out. Now, if you notice, I didn't do any shading at all, just super simple quick coloring. After all, I don't have any shading on my sky, on my grass or even on the die cut car, so there is no need to add shadows, it would look kind of funny, and I like to have a coherent style on the whole card. So I managed to fit inside three of the critters, and remember that if you don't have the acetate for the glass, then you can have their heads popping out of the car. Now I'm going to use foam squares at the back and stick the car on top of my background. Now in a standard card size, just this big car with the critters inside and the background that I created would be enough. However, in a long card like this one, I felt that it needed something extra, that's why I die cut and stick down the three trees. For my sentiment, I went with have a really great day and I did use the stitched banner dies to die cut it. And finally, I'm going to stick this panel on top of a slimline card that is slightly bigger so that I will end up having a white border all around. Here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. My favorite things always come up with amazing stamps and dies. They are always super adorable and it makes it really difficult to choose a favorite. So these were the cards for today. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Don't forget, down below you will find links to everything I used. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you will all have a lovely weekend.